Hello and welcome back to ECS Coffee. My name is Rebecca and today we'll be taking a look at the Dynamica Plus versus the Aletta Explorer. The Aletta Explorer is a brand new machine from DeLonghi and we recently did a review on that. So if you want to check that out, you can check it out up here. We'll just put the link up in the corner there for you. The Dynamica Plus has been out for a few years now, but we've always really loved this machine. These machines have a lot of similar functions, including a color display touchscreen, user profiles, and an over ice function. So let's have a look at some of the differences as well. As you can see, they obviously look a lot different. Um, the Aletta Explorer is a little bit larger than the Dynamica Plus, so we're coming in a little bit higher. We also have a larger bean hopper on the Aletta Explorer. Water tank is around the same size. So you're hovering around the two liter mark. That's pretty standard for super automatic espresso machines. The displays are a little bit different and how you scroll through your menus is also different. On the Dynamica Plus, you have some sensor touch buttons just located at the bottom half of the screen. And then up top, you have the color display touch screen. So you have a few pages here that will have all of the beverages available to you. So if you scroll through, you're going to be just scrolling through the entire menu. You have four user profiles on the Dynamica Plus, three completely customizable ones and one guest profile as well. You can still fully customize that one too. On the Dynamica Plus, you are limited to how you edit the profiles in the machine. You are able to edit the profiles a lot more through their DeLonghi app. I believe it's called Coffee Link. So on these ones, you're just able to edit the beverages within the profile. You're not able to edit anything beyond that. You have size and strength selections as well, as well as the My button here. So that'll be customized to your exact strength and length of your um, the brew that you want to do. You can see here we're on profile one, so every beverage that we select to brew under that profile will be programmed and saved under that profile. You have the front loading water tank located just here on the Dynamica Plus, and you have the Latte Crema system. Right now we have a hot water spout inserted into the machine. If we wanted to brew any milk beverages, we would just insert the, uh, the milk jug there. You have three froth selections on the Latte Crema system. So you have little foam, medium foam, and big foam. On the Aletta Explorer, you have a complete sensor touch display up at the top here. You have to go, cold, hot, and favorites. If you select to go on the Aletta Explorer, you're going to be asked to select whether you want to brew a cold or a hot beverage. If I select hot, all of the beverages that are capable of being brewed hot in the to-go size mug, which is about 16 ounces in length, will show up on my display screen here. You can then scroll through the menu and that's what I would have available to brew. If I have no selections selected, so no to-go, no cold, no hot, I can just scroll through the entire menu. So this machine has over 50 beverages to select from. The Dynamica Plus has um, around 20 beverages to select from. So you have a smaller amount there. One of the main differences between these machines is the Aletta Explorer's cold brew function. So the Aletta Explorer is able to not only give you the over ice option that, the, that DeLonghi has started to introduce into most of their espresso machines, they also now have the cold brew. So you're able to do a cold brew, cold foam latte, cappuccino, uh, flat white, all of those wonderful things, just like you would in a cafe. You aren't able to do that on the Dynamica Plus or any of the other super automatic espresso machines. It's pretty impressive what the Aletta Explorer can do. One of the other things that the Aletta Explorer gives you is two separate milk crafts and it also comes with its own travel mug. So you are able to use your own travel mug if you would like. It is compatible with, ooh, a pretty large one. So up to about the 20 ounce size in Yeti. 
or you have, and you have your two latte crema systems. So most machines will come with only one automatic frothing system, but since you have the cold foam, they do give you the extra latte crema system specifically for cold foam. On either machine, you have the three foam options, so low, medium, high for foam. The Aletta Explorer does offer both, all three of those functions as well for the cold foam. If you're uh, brewing on the Dynamica Plus and you wanted to customize your drink right before you're brewing, you're going to select your size and your strength before you brew, and then you're able to save that preference, if it's right for you, after the beverage has brewed. On the Aletta Explorer, there's a little pink plus button underneath all of the beverages. If you click on that, it's going to ask you to select your size and your intensity right before you brew. And then you can also save it to your favorites. The favorites menu is really awesome to utilize if you want it, if you're only brewing specific beverages. So if you're brewing espresso, Americano and cold cappuccino, then all of those can be saved in your favorites and you'll have a quick one-touch menu there for yourself. If you wanted to navigate on the Aletta Explore between your user profiles, you would just select the top right-hand corner and alternate between the menus here. So we have four user profiles, just like the Dynamica Plus on the Aletta Explore, but you are able to customize them more within the machine as opposed to customizing only on the app. So I have my own profile here for Rebecca. You'll notice all of my colors changed here. So now all of my plus signs are green. So if you had a blue profile or a green profile or any other color, all of the extra little pluses or any other symbols on there will be the same color as your profile. I have nothing saved in my favorites, so I could save them there. So the Aletta Explorer has a really large menu for beverages. You know, with the 50 plus, you have a ton in there. But let's have a look at some of the beverages that they've added into the machine that the Dyn Dynamica Plus may be lacking. So we'll have a look first at our hot beverage menu. We have number one, Americano. Americano drinkers, this is fantastic. Love that they've added this in. You also have coffee, espresso, flat white two times espresso, hot water, espresso, sol, cappuccino, latte macchiato, latte, doppio espresso, cappuccino mix, long coffee, cappuccino plus, and the list goes on and on. This has such a big beverage menu. Cortado, hot milk, the pot function, and tea. In our cold menu here, we're gonna have all of these options, but just in cold, which is great. So the over ice function versus, versus the cold brew is going to brew differently. You can do a whole cold brew pot, that's very fun. Adding in the Americano function and the cold brew function was a big plus for this machine. The Dynamica Plus has a really large beverage menu and the beverages are really good. Um, however, it is lacking the Americano. You can make an Americano on the Dynamica Plus, but it's a two-step process. Brewing espresso and then hot water separately. Let's go ahead and brew some beverages on these machines and uh, do a little bit of a comparison. All right, so now we're gonna brew an iced beverage on each machine. Since the Aletta Explorer does offer us the cold brew function, we will utilize that on the Aletta Explorer. On the Dynamica Plus, we'll do the over ice function. So we'll brew that one first. So I'm going to scroll through my menu. It's important to note as well on the Dynamica Plus that it does have a smart technology where it will put your most used beverages to the front of your menu. So you, if you're always using an over iced beverage, you won't have to scroll through your menu to find it. I'm going to click, uh, ooh, I'm gonna select my size first. I think I'm gonna do uh, the, that size and I'll do maximum strength all the way up. Oh, it's asking me, very cool, okay. So I'll do large and then I will do extra strong. I'm, I have my ice cubes in my glass and now it's going to brew for us. 
So I like how the Dynamica Plus gives you a little visual of how the beverage is going to look, as well as the progress bar. You are able to stop the brewing cycle at any point in time. If you're going to overflow or anything like that, you can stop it. So the over ice option, it brews it at a lower temperature, more concentrated, so it doesn't taste as diluted. When you're pouring it over ice, some of the ice is going to melt. The color looks really fantastic. And you'll notice that it's brewing relatively fast. Perfect. Oh yeah, that's nice and cold. <clears throat> well, it's really creamy looking. Mm. Really smooth, sweet, not sour at all. Really delicious, really, really tasty. Mm. Yeah, that's very enjoyable. Awesome. So if I wanted to do an iced latte for this guy, I could just add a little bit of cold milk on top of that espresso and I'd be good to go. Over to my Aletta Explorer. So I'm going to, like I said, use the, oops, I need to go to my cold menu here. And I'm going to use cold brew. So I'm going to click my little plus sign below. I'm gonna to go to size large and click start. It's now going to ask me the intensity. I'm going to choose intense and it's telling me how many ice cubes to put in. I put in some of my, of my own ice cubes, so that's totally fine. I'm just going to click brew. So both machines have the same beans in there, but the brewing technology is different. So the cold brew brews differently than the over ice option. You have both of those options on the Aletta Explorer, both the over ice and the cold brew. The Aletta Explorer likes to talk to you as well. So on the screen, it'll tell you exactly what it's doing, but I don't have an image here of what my beverage should look like. I just have the progress bar. You can hear it. So it's going to brew really slow. It's just, just dripping out. Cold brew is supposed to make your beverage taste even sweeter and even smoother than the over ice function. Now, I think the over ice function is already fantastic. It makes a really, really smooth iced beverage. I was very impressed with it when they first came out with it. And through each machine that they've introduced it into, it's been very good. And this is taking a while. It takes just under five minutes fully to do the cold brew for this size and for this style of beverage. So my cold brew is now done. It definitely took a lot longer than the over ice function. And it looks a little clearer. My over ice was definitely really creamy. The crema was all throughout. This is looking more like cold brew coffee as opposed to cold espresso. That's very interesting. Okay, let's taste it. They taste really different. Yeah. Um, huh. Both are very good. I think I prefer the over ice. I think that it's a little creamier. The cold brew is definitely stronger. This has a much larger body to it. Still very good, but I do prefer the over ice. The cold brew is also a lot colder right away. The over ice function got colder as it sat with the ice for a little bit longer. 
um, which is just to be expected because the cold brew definitely brews at a lower temperature than the over ice. That is very interesting. It was such a drastic difference. I wasn't expecting that. So very good to know. Bolder body, darker flavor with the cold brew function, creamier and a little bit milder with the over ice function. The Aletta Explorer is just asking me to store the milk carafe in the fridge. And now I'm just back to my mang mango. Okay, that was interesting. So we're gonna brew a cappuccino now and just see how those compare to each other as well. We're gonna use some regular milk to see the frothing capabilities. I These should taste exactly the same, same beans, kind of like the same insides of the machines. Latte crema system for both. So let's just have a go and see what we see what happens. Set up both machines ready to brew. I like how everything is mobile on both machines. The arm for the latte crema system and the spouts for the coffee. You do have more room on the Aletta Explorer because it is travel mug compatible. So if you are somebody that's constantly taking their coffee to go, just something to consider. So let's brew again on the Dynamica Plus first. I have my settings already set to the maximum foam level. So I'm just going to scroll through my menu to go to my cappuccino. On my Dynamica Plus, I'm going to select my size before I brew. I'm going to select the largest size and the strongest strength. Say that five times fast telling me where to put my uh, dial for my milk frother. We already have ours set at the correct size of foam. The latte crema systems and the frothing systems from DeLonghi always deliver really, really beautiful foam. So it's really nice and frothy. I love that. I love a frothy cappuccino. There's not massive bubbles in it either. It's pretty thick. So again on the Dynamica Plus displaying the nice photo of our beverage on the screen with the progress bar just down below. So we know what our drink should look like. And it, it does a really good job. It look, always looks pretty much exactly the same as the picture. Those are like, that's like clouds on top of the cappuccino. That's awesome. Beautiful. Love it. Okay, have a look here. I think it looks pretty similar to what the picture showed. And DeLonghi, their, cat, their milk beverages are, are hot. Like I, this might burn my tongue. Yep, a little bit. So good. Mm. Beautiful, yeah. Super creamy, tasty. Love it. It's a little too hot for my liking. So if you are somebody that likes an extra hot cappuccino or like an extra hot latte, DeLonghi machines always really deliver at the highest temperature that they can. And it's always, I mean, it's always too hot for me personally. So now we're gonna go on over to the Aletta Explore and brew the same beverage. So I'm going to scroll into my hot menu. All my hot beverages are going to show up. And we will go to cappuccino. I'm going to click the little plus icon below and select my size. I did the largest size on the Dynamica Plus, so I will do the largest size on the Aletta Explorer as well. Set my intensity to the maximum strength and click brew. So now it's just showing me a little frothing tip. For smooth froth, use milk or plant-based drinks fresh from the fridge. So no like 
no warm milk. It's telling me where to put the dial for the froth and I already have it there. And now it's telling me that it's preparing the milk. The foam looks a little thicker and smoother coming out of this latte crema system. It looks good. A little bit more of a micro foam from the Aletta Explore. Now it's brewing the espresso. Foam is massive. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. Okay. If you're a foam lover, like I am, if I'm gonna have a cappuccino, I want lots of foam. I like the Dynamica Plus does a beautiful, beautiful job of frothing. That's like so much foam. I love it. Okay. Look at it. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Okay. That was just all milk. Okay. Mm. Oh my gosh. really, really good. I definitely prefer it from the Aletta Explore. Um, the foam was denser, creamier. It was bigger as well, so I'm taking that into consideration for strength-wise, but the foam by itself was just nicer from the Aletta Explore. Now, the Dynamica Plus still did fantastic foam. It was still very creamy, very smooth, um, you can see that it's kind of starting to dissipate here. And that's fine. It happens. It's milk. It's just milk filled with air. But yeah, that is some thick foam from the Aletta Explore. Amazing. So you may be wondering now, you've watched the video and who is each machine for? Well, if you're an iced beverage drinker, and that's going to be one of the primary things you're looking at drinking, the Aletta Explore, hands down, is for you. It has all of the iced beverages you could ever want, including beverages with cold foam, which no other machine has. It's really amazing. Both machines are fantastic for multiple people using the machine in the household with the user profiles. You're able to customize to your heart's content on each machine. I do find the programming to be a little bit easier on the Aletta Explorer um, because you can do more customization within the machine, whereas with the Dynamica Plus, you do have to use the app to do more customization and to get into all of those preferences. The Aletta Explorer showed that it does do a little bit of a nicer milk foam from the frothing system, but both machines do a fabulous job. Looking at price points as well is really important. So the Aletta Explorer is more expensive. It's coming in at around $2,600, whereas the Dynamica Plus is around $2,100. So you are spending an extra $500 for the extra beverage menu, the more customization, and the cold foam, the cold function of, and cold brew of the machine. If those things are all important to you and you're going to use those things all the time, the Aletta Explorer may be for you. If you're not going to, then the Dynamica Plus is a really, really great option. This machine has been on the market for a number of years now and customers love it, I love it. It was, it's definitely been one of my favorite De uh, DeLonghi's for the last little bit. 
I think the Aletta Explorer may be coming up there now. Both machines are going to offer you the two plus one year warranty through DeLonghi, which is just fantastic. So two year warranty comes with either machine. When you register that machine online, you receive an extra year of warranty from DeLonghi. We are a registered service center for them underneath your warranty and out of warranty as well. So if you have issues, you know, if you're local to us, you purchase a machine from us or whatever, you can come back here, which is fantastic. We have both of these machines available for demo at the Burlington store. So if you wanted to see them in action, taste the differences in the coffees and use them, I highly recommend that you come by and stop in store and use the machines because watching a video is fantastic, but if you're close by, come on in and we'd love to see you make you some coffee. Um, I love really, I really love both of these machines. The Aletta Explore has a few features and functions that have been added in that I really, really like. The cold, brew function and the Americano, which may seem small, but as an Americano drinker, any machine that offers me an Americano, I'm automatically gonna like a little bit more. Keeping in mind too, that the Aletta Explore is a little bit taller than the Dynamica Plus, so making sure it fits underneath the cabinets. It does have a larger bean hopper as well, so you're able to fit a full 340 gram bag of beans in there, which most micro roasters use those style of bags or that size of bag. Um, I don't, I, yeah, really great machines. Both connect to the app, love them both. You would be satisfied with either machine. Make sure to subscribe to our channel if you like our content and give us a thumbs up. If you liked this video, follow us on all of our social media channels and check out our blog that we have on our website. You can check out some of the articles we have there for a little bit of extra knowledge and uh, see you next time. Cheers.